Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about organization settings where we are going to perform different types of settings to set up our org. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Organization details. Now we can know our information of the company from the company information page. So the complete organization detail is available on the company information page and we can visit the company information page through the setup, going to the settings option under that company settings section and there we will get an option of company information. We can edit company information from the same page. Locale settings. Now locale settings of our org controls the language and format of date, time, address and numbers and we can perform the locale settings at the organization level. Now organization level settings are the default settings and any new user created will get the default setting of the org. But later on if that user wants can change the locale setting according to their own choice. The user level settings will definitely going to override the org level set. For org level settings of locale, we can go to setup, company settings and from the same company information page, we can change the locale settings for the org and for the user level settings, we can go on the profile icon on the top right, go to the personal settings section and from there, we will have language and time zone settings. Language settings. Now, just like locale, the language settings of the organization and user can be defined differently. Default language is set on the company information page and will be applied to all the newly created users. Users personal setting will override the default org language settings. Now, Salesforce provides three level of language support, fully supported language for all the Salesforce features, whether it is UI setup or help page and user language for object field labels and pages but not for the setup and help pages and platform languages. Now for platform languages, we have to provide the translation for customization. If we talk about these languages, Salesforce currently provides 18 fully supported language, 17 end user languages and 30 platform only languages. Now for the org level settings, we can choose the language settings from the company information page. And if we want to choose any languages from these available languages, then we can go to language settings page. Now to choose the default language for a user, again, we can go to profile icon, personal settings, and we can do that from the language and time zone settings option. Licenses. Now Salesforce license authorized to an org defines what features and services are made available to an org. Now there are different license types in Salesforce, which can be categorized as user licenses, feature licenses, and permission set licenses. Now user licenses defines the baseline of features available to a user. Each user should have a specific user license and according to the user license, we provide a profile to that specific user. Now feature licenses grants access to additional features that are not included in standard license and permission set licenses gradually grants user access to features that are not included in user license. Now we can know about these licenses from the company information page. Now these are some examples of user licenses. These are examples of feature licenses and these are examples of permission set licenses. Time zone. Now the date and time field displays according to the time zone setting of the org. Time zone can also be set at org and user level. Now the org time zone is the default time zone for all the new users. Whereas user can set their own time zone which will override the org level time zone settings. Now for the org level time zone setting, we can go to setup, settings, company settings and from the company information page we can do that. And for the user level setting, we can go to the profile icon. From there, we can click on settings and from there, we can go to language and time zone. Currency. Now, any organization can have single currency and multiple currencies. In this specific video, we are only going to talk about single currency. Now, for single currency, user can select the single currency from the company information page using the currency locale. Now, the currency symbol in amount fields reflects this currency locale. So, whatsoever currency locale is selected, 
that will be reflected on the amount fields. By default, org has a single currency. Now, org's default currency only affects the currency symbol and not the amount value. So, it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of organization settings part 1. So, first of all, let's see how we can check out the organization details in our org. For that, you have to go to the setup page. So, click on the gear icon and click on setup and from here, you can go to company settings and you can click on company information or you can use this quick find as well so just type in company over here and you can find company information just click on it and from the company information page you can know different information related to your organization like the organization name who is the primary contact of the organization division address fiscal year starting month whether multiple currency is activated there or not data translation default locale default language default time zone currency locale and various other information now in this part and the next part we are going to learn how we can make changes of these different organization settings and what are the various levels in which we can make these changes for example the first change that we are going to make is locale setting now locale setting controls the language and format of date, time, address and numbers. Now the locale setting can be changed at the organization level and at the user level. So whatsoever locale setting the organization is having, the users will by default have the same locale setting. For example, right now my default locale is English India. So if I am going to create any new user, the user will by default have this default locale. Now if I change the locale setting now, all the existing users will still have the previous locale that is English India, but any new user from now onwards will get the new locale setting of the org. So let me show you how you can change the locale setting at the org level. So for the org level, you have to click on edit on the same company information page, scroll down and here you will file default locale. Now to change the default locale, you can click on it and you can change it to anything else. But before I make that change, let me show you how the address, date, time, etc. is shown right now. So if you see, if you come to the accounts page and if you see all the accounts and choose a specific account over here, go to the details section. You can find the address, how it is appearing. You can see the date, how it is appearing. Now I'm going to change the locale to English US. So here I've changed it to English United States and I will click on save. Now definitely any new user from now onwards, if I will create any new user from now onwards, the user will have the same default locale. But the current logged in user, which is already created, still having English India as a default locale and a user level locale setting overrides the org level locale settings. So though my org level locale setting is English United States, if I will come here and refresh this on the details page, I won't find any change. And the reason is my current logged in user is still having the locale of English India. Now how to change the user level locale setting? So to do that, you have to click on this profile icon and click on settings and from here you can find language and time zone and from here you can change the locale you can still see the locale for this user is english india now i'm changing it to english us as well clicking on save and going back to the record and refreshing it and now you can see the date format is changed now even the address is shown in a different way just keep in mind that user level settings overrides the org level settings. Now let's see how we can change the language setting. Now just like locale, the language setting of org and user can be defined differently. Default language is set on the company information page and will be applied to all the new users. And as I said, user's personal setting will override the default org level setting. So let me just show you how you can change the language. So for that, let's go back to the home, go to the company information page, edit it. And if you scroll down, you can see you can change the default language. Now, right now, there are these languages that is shown to us. Now I'm changing this language, let's suppose to German and saving this. Now, though I have changed the default language to German, but if I see any specific change, I won't find the language change over here. Now the reason is again the same, the org level setting is overridden by user level setting. Now any new user created from now onwards will have default language as German, but old users will still have the older settings. So if I click on profile icon and click on settings, again go to language and time zone, you can see the language is still English over here. So for this user, the default language is still English, but if I change to any other language, let's suppose Dutch and save. Now because I have changed the default language, 
now you will find the change over here you can see that everything on the org is actually changed to german or dutch so if a user language is changed then only it will be applied over there because user level setting overrides the org level setting but the default org level setting will actually be applied to all the new users and definitely if that user also wants to override it they have to go to their profile icon click on settings and from there they can change the language now salesforce provides three different levels of language support which is known as fully supported end user and platform languages and if you want to make any changes over there you have to click on quick find and type in language click on language settings and from here you can find out the different types of languages that are available so right now you can see these are the displayed languages for us all the languages that were that were available for us to select are already selected over here so when you go and choose a specific language only these languages are available to you secondly if you want end user languages as well so you can click on enable end user language now these languages will also show here in the available language option definitely you can select them and make them available in the displayed languages you can also select platform only languages and these will also be available for the selection from here now you need to make sure that these languages which is already displayed to you are fully supported languages and all salesforce features whether it is ui whether it is setup whether it is help all salesforce features are available in these languages but if i talk about end user languages which are over here if you select any specific end user language then all the standard objects their field labels and pages are translated to them but the setup and help page will remain in the normal language so for end user languages the language translation is not available for setup and help page if i talk about platform languages now for these languages you yourself have to provide the translation for customization now let's talk about licenses in the previous video when we were creating user i told you about licenses that when you are creating a user you have to select a user license now each user have a specific user license and this user license defines the baseline of features available to the user other than the user licenses there are some feature licenses also available now these feature licenses grants access to additional features that are not included in the standard license and other than that there are some permission set licenses as well so if you will grant any permission set license these will gradually grant user access to features that are not included in user licenses now if you want to know what are these licenses and how many of them are available to us you can go to company information page again so on the quick find type in company click on company information and if you will scroll down it will show you the available user licenses the total licenses available how many of them are used how many of them are remaining the same goes for permission set licenses and the same goes for feature license now let's talk about time zone setting now the date and time field displays according to the time zone setting now definitely it is possible that you are working on a multinational company and there are different users working in different time zones so in those situation those users can set their own time zone and you can have a default time zone for your whole organization again the user level time zone will override the default time zone so as soon as that user will log in he will see the time according to his own time zone but any new user created will get the org level time zone that you have selected now to change the org level time zone you have to come to company information click on edit and from here you can scroll down to default time zone option and select a specific time zone for your org level similarly if you want to change the time zone for the user level you have to click on the profile icon click on settings again go to language and time zone option and from here you can select the time zone for that specific user now let's come to the last topic for this specific video which is currency now how you can select currency now an organization can have single currency or multi multiple currency now the default option is available for single currency and in this video we are only going to talk about single currency so for a single currency your organization will have a currency locale now that currency locale will decide the currency symbol in the amount field but it will only change the symbol it will not change the value of the amount field and by default our org has a single currency only but how to change that for that you have to come to company information page and click on edit 
and from here you can change the currency locale but before i change it let me show you an amount over here in any specific bracket so right now you can see it is a very big value i'm just changing it to a smaller value so that we can compare easily so i'm making it as 35000 now let me come to the company information page and change the currency locale to something else canadian dollar and let's save it okay and let me take you back over here and refresh this now if you see it is showing dollar over here the currency symbol is changed but the amount is still the same and that's what i was saying if you are changing the currency locale of your org it is only going to change the currency symbol over here and not the amount now guys that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care